Barry, what about James Savinier? You said in our programme on Friday yep. there might be a problem about the captain. He played on Saturday. He played tonight. He doesn't look fit. And and me and Mark were actually speaking during the during the first half. The best thing for was 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 to have it. Look, I know he's a captain and he wants to lead for the front, but clearly he's not 100 percent fit. And um, they've done the right thing, whether that was Tav or whether that was Geo or whether they spoke to each other. They've done the right thing with we, we, we taking him out. Um, but as it's beginning to be a bit worrying for Rangers, they look short to me. They look short to pieces. Um, there's no real leadership in there, which um, during the games is, is worrying uh, watching them. Um, but look, there's no complaints. Listen, you can go on about tactics or whatever. They, they were clearly a, a better team in Rangers. Leon King came on. How did he do for you? I mean, yeah. see the backup now for Saturday. Well, he went to right wing back, mm -hmm. right back, which he, he's predominantly a, a centre half. Well, he is a centre half, Leon King, yeah. um, young player. And I thought, listen, he came up against yeah. Bergwijn, who is um, a top class player. Let, let's not kid ourselves on. And I thought he acquitted himself really well. Um, young Leon King getting into a, an atmosphere like that in Amsterdam, coming up against really good players. Um, I thought he, I thought he done well. Mark, what would you do for Saturday? And you know, at listening to everyone here, they're worried now. They're worried about yeah. the league campaign as well. But what are the options at the back? Tavernier not fit at the moment. We know that uh, Ben Davis at least was on the bench. Mm -hmm. uh, what's he going to do? I mean, he's obviously well, he's you, left sided. You, you, you need to make changes now, Paul, and you certainly need to go and try Golson and Davis together. Sands has, has, has acquitted himself over the piece, you know, fairly well. He, he did one goal in that tonight, but, but get Ben Davis in and just give him a run. You know, give him a run. There's a couple of games to the international break. Um, Rangers can't afford to drop any points. Aberdeen will smell blood at the weekend. Petaudry is always a difficult place to go to. Jim Goodwin's getting Aberdeen going. But Rangers have got a quality squad and they need to go and show it and they need to go uh, and bounce back. They'll travel up to Aberdeen on Friday night, lunchtime kickoff. It's a big ask, but that's why you play for Rangers. There's no point in moaning now about being in the Champions League. You want to be there. The fixtures come thick and fast, and you've got to go and go on with it. But you definitely change it. I don't think there should be any more loyalty to any guys that he's not get. Uh, he's got doubts over now. Change it, freshen it up. The other thing about about Tavernier, I'm thinking that normally clean the guy out at the third goal. Clean the guy out. Take one for the team. Take a yellow card. If I had one question mark over McLaughlin tonight, it would be the third goal. Listen, it's coming off the post. It's a wonderful finish, but still, again, top class goalkeeper. You'd probably be saving that. Yeah. Can I just come in there about to have yeah. Mark, Mark spot on? I think if he's 100 percent fit, he's right up against him and he's forced him back towards his own goal. You can't allow him to turn. Yeah, yeah, you can't. Yeah. Um, he didn't press us. But one thing I will say about John McLaughlin, he pulled off some yeah. decent saves tonight. Yeah. It showed. It showed me that. Listen, after a tough Saturday. He's come back pretty strong. He, he's probably the, the, the one that's that, that's come out of this game because he's, listen, he's conceded four goals, but at least he stood up and made some decent saves.